All right, guys. So it is as usual what you see from Zotac. It's yellow. It's all also green as well to complement uh, Nvidia GeForce, of course, and Zotac GeForce GTX Mini. As you can see right here, it's got the Ice Storm cooling, eight gigabytes of VRAM, GDDR5, and extended warranty. I'm not too sure, but extended warranty from Zotac is usually meaning two years plus three years, which in total means five years. And another feature right here at the back, which is a super compact, like I said, it's a mini, which they were also able to do with their own 1080. And also right here, as you can see, specifications is the GPU GTX 1070 Ti, memory size is eight gigabytes of GDDR5, memory bus is 256 bit, and the outputs that it has is the HDMI, three display ports, dual link DVI, and supports Windows 10 8.1, 8 7 uh, 32 or 64 bits and everything else is here pretty standard and we're just gonna take a look there's a seal over here but there is no seal over here we're just gonna take this one out from this side and whoo that sound of unboxing it feels so good and as you guys know I do not do a lot of unboxings here of GPUs here on the channel so this is one of the few it's so small that's the first impression this is going to fit very very nicely in my mini ITX gaming PC which I'm using to game and this PC right here is going to be used as streaming like I said of course the video for that mini ITX gaming PC the Ryzen system that I have will be over here the link will be right here it's going to pop up as a card so be sure to check that out. So this, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Ice Storm cooling, which this one is slightly smaller than this one. The fan over here is slightly smaller than this one. Alright guys, so first things first, what we're going to put aside is the temperature for the, you know, case, the system and everything. Of course, as you can see right now, it is very much open as you can see. I'm running the Fermar GPU stress testing, the GPU right now. And it's looking pretty good right now. And the maximum temperature that it's getting right now, it's 68 degrees Celsius. Now it says that as well, we're going to have a look at the HW monitor right here. And we are looking at, where's the GPU? 1070 Ti, temperature is at 69 degrees and the minimum was 27 degrees and maximum is still 69 degrees and it is the same as this one right here in Fermark, it's also 69 degrees as you can see right there. Right, so now we're in Dota 2 and we're just gonna watch a game. It's basically the same as playing a game as well. So at the menu, we're getting more than 200 frames per second. Of course, now we're looking at in-game performance and it is looking at 120 is the minimum as I can see averaging at 130 FPS although a word of caution I would not really extremely trust this counter and everything that's being displayed right here because Dota 2 has been you know known to have issues even with the GTX Titan X it's really really low for a Titan X to be performing under 100 FPS so that's really weird but right now it's looking pretty promising with at least, okay now, there's a lot of characters. We're getting 80 FPS at least and then averaging at about 90 and as soon as we move out, I guess, without more effects and everything. Bear in mind, the game settings right now is, everything is maxed out and there's no holding back and everything. Everything is maxed out, um, even the shadow is at ultra, so now all factors considered, the frames per second right here is actually very, very good. Now we're looking at CSGO, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and of course, the settings of the game is all maxed out and we're playing at 1080p and we're just gonna go ahead and watch a game right now which is basically the same as you saw in Dota 2's video just now which is you're watching the data that everything is right here and the benchmarks are real time so we're looking at wow look at that we're looking at 200 fps 
in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now that's an average at this area particularly. Now it's moving to the next match and there you go. We're looking at other characters as well. 160 to 200 FPS. We just saw 140 FPS there and it's fluctuating kind of aggressively but it does look as if it's maintaining at around 200 FPS which is super awesome. Right now we are running the 3D Mark V Strike Ultra right here. This is of course a 4K video test and we are getting an FPS range of about 320, 30 FPS, 30 FPS average or about 25 to 30 FPS on average and it's running quite well actually. Of course there is some issues about new GPUs, new drivers waiting to be optimized and everything. So this is just preliminary and this is still new, the 1070Ti. And we should be able to see, you know, the new updates coming in, rolling in very, very soon. Can't wait for that. Uh, we'll, we'll check that out very, very soon as well with the new driver update. And also in Dota 2 as well because, you know, Dota 2 might not be updated to support the 1070Ti and the CSGO. CSGO is doing really well as I can see. I'm trying to play PUBG, play Unknown's Battlegrounds, but it just won't load. I don't know why it's, come on Bluehole, get your thing together. Hopefully, at least by, you know, launch date coming next year or end of this year. And now we are in GTA 5 and everything is at very high and everything is, the resolution is 1920 by 1080. I've set it there. And of course, the refresh rate is 60 hertz. My monitor is 60 hertz, but you can see the FPS right now is at 64. And we are going to start the benchmark now. All right, so it's looking really, really great right now. Everything is very high, like I mentioned before. And this is the GTA 5 benchmark. It's in the loading screen again right now. Averaging at about 100 FPS. That is amazing. It's not terrible at all. 120 FPS right now. And at some situations, you get 140 FPS and the counter, the FPS counter here and the FPS counter over at the top left corner right here is also the same as well. So that is assuring.